Hello everybody, this is Sister Mary with Homesteading Haven. Now something's going on right now, that's why I turned the camera on. This little one right here, that looks like the little cow. She does not belong out here with these mature nannies. No, no, no. You hear her mama? Her mama's calling her because she's supposed to be in this smaller pen. And look right there. Brother John, you see the little white, the white one? Her little head was sticking out. I want to catch her in her crime. So Brother John's been able to see her a few times now where she jumps in and out. She's not supposed to be out here yet. I mean, there is fencing up, but if you will hear her mama... Her mama's calling her. I want to see if she'll jump back through. And this will be wonderful if she does what she's been doing. Come on, show everybody what you do. And you're not supposed to be doing it. See, the white one was born about a week earlier than this one. And so the white one belongs to the white nanny. And this little black and white one belongs to... The multicolored nanny right there. Now I gotta keep we gotta keep our eyes on this one because she's the one that's doing what she's not supposed to do. Where are you supposed to be, young lady? <laughs> now I don't know if y'all can see, but look at Billy. Eddie G. I don't want to miss the little one. Look at this one. We have kids at play. Y'all see that? Kids at play. All right, I'm going to keep my attention on her because she's going to go back over there in just a minute. Well, I know how she will go in, honey, when you throw hay back over there, maybe. Maybe she'll do it on her own. Maybe she's about to do it. Come on, girl. Do what you know you're supposed to be doing. You know, the kid goat's no different than a regular child. Not doing what you want them to do when you want them to do it. Oh, oh. She's talking to her mama. She has found freedom and she likes it. There she goes, there she goes. Come on, girl, step through that hole. Show everybody what you've been doing. Gonna have to watch her as she gets bigger. She might be one of these that's always getting into something. She's an escape artist. Swollen up on the back half of the upper part. Brother John's talking about this one right here. She's limping, so we're going to have to check her Swole out. Up. Well, she ran pretty good then, didn't she? All right. She might have heard it on something, but we'll have to keep an eye on her. I'm going to keep my eye right here because I don't want to miss this one going back in. This one up there. Uh-oh. 
Yes, I have a visitor. There she goes, man. She went back in, but these two. Let's see if these will, they just locked horns. See if they'll do that again. Well, she got back in guys, but it was this brown and white one had walked in front, but she did what I wanted you to see. If you got to see her at all, if you have to rewind, just know that when that brown and white goat started walking by this fence area right here, this little one went back in. So we've kept mamas and nannies separated until mamas and nannies. We've kept the nannies and the babies separated from <coughs> the other goats. <laughs> but the babies, uh, this white one right here should be about winged. And I would say the little one, because she's starting to eat some hay too, and she eats grain. But she's still nursing, but. You know, watch this one right here coming up. This one right here. You hurt your leg. She is limping a little bit. Uh-oh. Which one is this one? Lulu. Oh, this is Lulu and Roxy fighting. These are the two dogs. Fighting over food. Fighting over food. Our, na our neighbors telling Brother John that they fight like that throughout the day. They are still, yes, they're both female, but they, um, they're not, he's talking about being in heat. These, these babies are still little. I'm talking about our guard dogs right now, our herd dogs. So we've got a Great Pyrenees, and we have an Anatolian Shepherd, and they were put down here with the goats. I would say they were at least five or six months old. But we we had one uh, yesterday that went out of the regular gate. She was in our driveway, so the whole property is fenced in. But she so she didn't get over in the neighbor's area, but the neighbor is the one that. Uh, come over here and put her back in this enclosing because he knew that that's where she was supposed to be. So we are very thankful. But anyways, this has been Sister Mary. Oh, oh yeah, it's baby. This is my girl. They're all my girls. Except Billy, but he's my man. Where is he at? Come here. Well, Miss Escape Artist did get back in there. So, that is what I wanted everybody to see. That's why I grabbed my camera real quick, because she was out. I hope you've enjoyed this day of just a routine, just a daily routine of homesteading. You never know what you're going to find. Never know what you're going to see. Let me try to see if I can get Billy right here standing up. Watch him jump down. Oh, yes. Well, goodness. I call this one Eddie G. There's a brother out in California that said, make him an honorary Eddie G.
Brother John's going to open open the gate and let everybody out. They have what you call hot zones. When you raise animals in a tight area, and the hot zone produces flies, parasites, you know, like barber pole worm, uh, lung worm, all kinds of stuff that's bad for a goat. And, but if they're able to get out and forage, they're not as apt to contract these kind of problems. So, and these little ones, I mean, they're ready to start roaming. Look at here. This one has not seen the open field or this mama right here in how many months, honey? Oh, about three. Two and a half, three months. She starved for green stuff. Look at there. They know exactly what to eat. Which is everything except for azaleas. They can't eat azaleas. Look right here. She's she's saying thank you for letting me out. That's a true brush goat right there, that white one. That's what we want. We want brush goats. She clean up everything. Of course, uh, the dogs are happy because they're not going to the pond or waiting on the other water to be filled up. They're in here drinking this water because we've had to make sure this water has stayed full because they weren't able to access the pond area. We've got these two. Look at baby and mama eating. Here's the little one. She's, she's already been getting out though. I need to get that fenced up there so they can forage all that. Let me see if I can, we got, let's see, who have we got right here? Can y'all hear that bullfrog? Brother John's still talking to the neighbor. There's a small pond right here. They're still not filled up like they should be. And I'll tell you what, I see green and y'all are going to think it's leaves, but you know what? Should be frogs. Let's see if I can get close enough. Okay, well, one of them moved. I just didn't have the camera in the right spot. But let me see if I can increase this so you can see. Look right there. That is a frog. And there's another frog right there. But the closer I get down, they're going to move. Oh, you know what? I think I see. Nope, some, some are leaves, but. When they are glistening like this right here, let me see if I can find them again for you. Well. Did y'all hear that? There is a huge frog somewhere over here. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my goodness. Let me see if I can walk down closer so we can see. But usually when I start walking down, they will go under and we're not going to be able to see them. Let me see if I can keep y'all steady too. There we go. That's a frog. Ah, because it's, there we go. So there's about, there's one, two, and then a third right there. Let me see if I can stay focused on this big one. And move down. Brother John, staying with the baby goats to make sure that Lulu and Roxy, our dogs, don't. Up, oh, see. He went down. Okay, well, there's three. Three or four laying right here. Okay. 
Let me see. Look right there. Make sure I got y'all in the right spot. Can you see those three? There's actually four. There's one, two, three. They are enjoying their self. And then there's one more right on up. Right there. Can you see him above that leaf that's in the water? And, guys, I am telling you, this is a pond full of frogs. Look over here. Let me see if I can get past here. Can you see these over here? There's one. There's two. And, uh... third all right i'm going to walk up here with brother john and talk to our neighbors for a few minutes this has been sister mary with homesteading haven and i hope you've enjoyed just coming on, along with us in this journey remember greater is he the lord jesus that is in you when you believe than he satan that is in this world